I think here's what I think we'll do. Like the first is that, and then you grab we'll just them. talk about these boards, how they evolved from this board into that board. Okay, ready? Yeah. White tiger, red tiger, take one. Out. What's happening? Yeah. I just remembered. Is that old broken one out in the front? The board we're really talking about is the red tiger. Well, but it's to this get video to the is red about, tiger. The video is about the red tiger. All right. But in order to get to the red tiger, we got to rewind a little bit back to the white tiger. So we're going to start at the start. Here it is. This is the start. <laughs> this is the original white tiger. I asked Paisel once during COVID summer. I said, hey, can I get like five just really weird, odd boards? And not really weird, odd, just fun boards. Something five, different. Five fun small boards for small waves. And so... Um, for the first time that you like, you never ride weird boards. Yeah, basically. we had all this time. So we're like, let's do something fun, right? Ended up being the White Tiger was one of those boards. And it was actually one of my favorite boards. I was having so much fun. It was The board is let's so just, fast in little waves. Just to be clear, you didn't ride it for like... A year. Yeah, least. I didn't ride for like a year. It. And then I started riding it and I was Maybe more. kind of obsessed with it. Um, but you didn't tell me about that until later. Yeah. Anyway, and then fast forward all the way to this year, I had a white tiger on our trip and I really liked it. And I just like the speed and the looseness of it for small waves. I don't know, for me in small waves, if you're going fast and having fun, I feel like that's like the ultimate board. And I was kind of doing that on this shape. As yeah. you can see, it's very much a fun shape though. Um, so a chunky little fun shape. Yeah. And this was, this was also, so when you went to Fiji, I made you a quiver for Fiji. And then halfway through your Fiji trip, you called me or emailed me or texted me or something and said, one of my boards blew overboard. Yeah, I got one made for <laughs> Fiji. I didn't even get to ride it. It blew overboard and got lost to the Pacific Ocean. So hopefully someone will find it. It looks like this, red and yellow. Yeah. Um, so we made another one. I made another one of those. And then, anyway, yeah, I kept riding in Fiji and I really liked it. And then when I was coming back and kind of wrapping my head around the tour year, I was starting to think about like a small wave board that would be fun. And I was just kind of thinking that if we could stretch this out to more of a short board. You basically um, told me, you're like, can we just make this board? Why can't we make a board feel just like this, a short board? And you told me, no. <laughs> well, you're like, just make it longer. So like, that won't work. So yeah, Pezel told yeah. me no. I said no. And then finally, like just we shaped this. one, we shaped a 510, yeah. and the 510 was insane. I loved it, and I was that like... Was, so the 510 happened where you went to California. I remember um, Wasserman sent me a little clip of you riding a wave like this big at Newport, mm -hmm. and Pat O'Connell was calling me going, what, what, what is that? What's going on? Yeah, and so that was kind of the birth of the Red Tiger, yeah. and then, yeah, so I mean, that was kind of it. We just kind of took it and stretched it out a little bit, kind of tried to work on more of a refined version that would handle a little more power if needed, which, which is, is what this, this is, and that it thing. looks like a short board, you know? It's quite a bit more refined than the uh, original White Tiger. Like, you can see in the tail, the tail's a lot uh, narrower compared to this tail. Um, and that's just because I think when we were stretching it, the problem we had was like the rails were getting too long and straight. Everything was too straight, so we kind of pulled it in. And um, then the whole thing with this too is like it has it has that same bottom. So the bottom curves are based, this bottom curve and this bottom curve, like the contours are the same. Yeah. It has this like big exaggerated double concave V. Yeah, if you look down cool. the tail, pretty, I mean, you might not see, but the V yeah, in it is pretty, it's, it's, pretty cool. It's pretty neat. I really to like, like it. Compared to what you normally ride, it's, it's real different. It's just different, different looking. Um, but it definitely... That gives it like a looseness, um, I feel like, which I like. Like it rolls. Even though it's wide, it rolls easy, rail to rail. Flat rocker, yeah. really flat rockered, so it's gonna glide and paddle really good too. Like all that, that flatness really keeps it going fast. This area here from your front foot in between your feet is super flat rocker down the center of the board. Yeah. That's what that V kind of helps create that flatness right there, which is gonna get that thing just going through sections, super like flat little areas. It helps keep yeah. your speed up. Um, it still has a lot of pivot to it, which is something that I really like when it, a board can pivot and fit in those kind of tighter situations. 
And weirdly enough, this board has a lot of pop off the tail for errors. That was one thing I remember you're like, compared to your ghost where you're like, oh, that tail's pulled in. All yeah. of a sudden you're like, wow, I can just boost errors way easier. It pops really it well. Has like yeah. this, that, that wider tail gives you like that release and gets you that little extra like yes. pop now. Oh yeah, the one thing too we were struggling with was the drive a little bit. Yeah. So you moved the back front, fin. Front fins front up. Fins moved up. the front fins up a little bit. Moved the front fins a slide a little bit forward. And yeah, I use concave, like a little bit bigger concave fins with this board, which I think is really fun with it. Speedy. Uh, speedy, yeah. It's and really thing, fun in small ways. For me to have, just growing up here in Hawaii, you're so used to so much power, but when you can get on a small wave and just kind of do what you want and have fun and go fast, then. Yeah, that I remember literally that was what you said to me. You're like, here's what I want. I want a short board that is fast and fun. Yeah. And that's it basically. You're going fast, you're having fun. Exactly. Fast is fun. This whole thing has kind of come about just to be able to use on your low range of waves, basically, where yeah. you're like, hey, my ghost feels a little big, a little bit too much. Yeah. And these boards are going to fit into that like smaller head high and under range when it's a little slower. It doesn't have to be that small, but just slower waves in general. I picture like head high lowers, this board would be really, really fun. El Salvador. El too. Salvador. Yeah, waves like that. Kind of Beach. like uh, shoulder to head high, mushy, fun point break waves. That thing will excel. And you're bringing a white tiger just for fun. Yes. Still. White tiger's coming for fun. We're gonna put some foil boxes in it. No foil boxes. <laughs> Overall, I would say order it a couple inches smaller than your shortboard and uh, about a liter more. Yeah, up a bit in volume, down a bit in length. Yeah. And then the white tiger's way down. But you don't have to go with the white tiger, it's cool. You don't have to go way up in volume because it has that flat rocker that helps you paddle. A lot of people think like, oh, I'm on a smaller board. I need it to be like more volume to catch waves. But just because of the design itself, it paddles so well. Yeah. So that's it in a nutshell, I guess. That's Maybe. the Red Tiger. Huh? The Red Tiger, the White Tiger. <laughs> and um, also another- To get from the White Tiger to the Red Tiger, just to let everyone know, we went through like 15 different versions. At least. <laughs> All rushes every single one of them thank you to our glassers <laughs> it was a lot of work culpin we appreciate it <laughs> but it's pretty fun when you go through all those versions and you get to a board that works good job that's a wrap Call me, help me help you. <laughs>